Well, hello, good morning. So today, this is what happens when you get bored on a Saturday morning. I'm going to test out our new Brideshead fragrance oil. As you can see, it's completely clear in colour. So I'm hoping that's not going to affect any of my colours. We're going to be working with titanium dioxide to get a nice white batter. And then I've got this sexy silver. I'm hoping that will represent the champagne element of this fragrance. And we've then got this lovely bright yellow to represent the daisy element. And then the bright green lawn that the daisies are growing on. So there you go, we've got this lovely mix of green, yellow and silver to go into our white base. So, if we get them out of the way for the moment, and our precious fragrance oil, and let's start with our batter. So, in here, 51 degrees, and our loy is 53, so that's perfect. So, you give that a stir, and just pour in down our spatula, helps to make sure we don't get any splash back give him a little stir up by hand before we get the blender out now I'm sorry of course it's gonna get noisy but most of you are used to that so here we go I love the way it changes colour almost instantly. There we go. Let's put in our titanium dioxide. I always mix mine with a little bit of the recipe oil so that I'm not putting in a dry powder. Creamy white to be starting off with. It's very nice. I like that a lot. So I'm going to keep it quite liquid today because obviously I want to do some blending with the flowers and the colours. Okay, let's see how this fragrance oil is going to behave. So, I'm pouring in my bride's head, which, by the way, obviously I'm prejudiced because I invented it, but it smells absolutely fan dabby dozy. Let's give it a stir up. Oh, so far so good. No kind of seasoning, no kind of added colour. That all looks exactly as it was before I put it in there. That's a good start. Now I would say in a lot of ways, although this is obviously floral and sea salt and champagne, so it's fine as a unisex brand, it's definitely not a girly smell. It's much more unisex, maybe even manly, than it is of a um, girly smell. Although it's got a floral element in it, it's really not girly. So I'm gonna take that one out of there, bring back my colour pots. One, two, three. And we're gonna have a bit of a one. So, you can see those colours come into life now. Three. Let's have a bit of a stir up. 
that's the pale silver there's actually some glitter in there as well so that's quite sexy and then we've got our green yeah I like that green that's nice and then we've got our yellow there are colours okay I think today we'll go for an in-pot swirl because we like how that works so I'm going to keep my silver separate so I can layer that down one side of the soap but I'm going to put my green at 12 and 6 so 12 and 6 keep a little bit for the top and then I'm putting my yellow at nine and three again keeping a little bit for the top and then we'll just put a little tiny bit of the silver in the middle where the hands would sit but mainly I'm keeping it for the side okay so move that over bring my mold in this is my trusty mold you know I like these and if you remember we are going to down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up down oops I just hit the camera sorry and up find my spatula and give this pan a good clear out I did tell you I was going to keep it quite loose because I wanted obviously for it to blend well with the colours get rid of my saucepan running out of space in here today and then I have got my silver and I'm going to run this all the way down this side I did spill some there I'm a mucky pup today but anyway then I'm going to take my silver spoon or coffee stirrer and I'm going to go down in the corner and blend, down in the corner and blend, down in the corner and blend, down and bend, down, 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 down. I'm hoping that will sort of represent the sea mist that's in here, the champagne. Okay, and then we'll just scrape out any that's left pop that along the top waste not want not and then we got a little bit of green and then we've got a little bit of yellow okay and then I'm going to get a clean coffee stirrer because what I want to do at this point is I just want to zigzag across the top so forward and back 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 forward back oh got to get rid of those spots there we go so that's what happens when you get bored on a Saturday morning with week 24 oh no 24 hours is Sunday oh if I do cut it tomorrow, then obviously I'll do a video. Otherwise, I guess I'll probably cut it Sat Monday, Monday morning. Have a great Saturday, everybody, and I'll see you soon.